I always say it's the small things that'll bite you in the ass, and this is one of those small things. And it bit us in the ass last week with our charger. I'll explain in a second. So this is the generic fuel pump pickup sending unit. It's this one's a Chrysler, but General Motors, Ford, AMC, all your foreign cars, anything that was carbureted uh, has is set up pretty much exactly like this. And unless you've revamped your tank, you're running a fuel cell, or you've put a sump in your tank, you've got one of these in there too. So here's what happened with the charger. Uh, we have been experiencing what we thought was vapor lock, all of the symptoms of vapor lock, which is really common with today's gasoline, and especially like with a big block, tight under hood space, temperature goes up, fuel will boil inside the pump. But that wasn't the problem we were having. What would happen was we would go out about to the top of first gear, bottom of second, and it would just flat run out of gas. Take a couple of seconds and it would pick up back up again and go. Um, vapor lock, right? No. What happened was we had put one of these in, and when we took it out of the box, we didn't bother looking or checking, we just stuck it in the, in the tank. Well, as it turns out, the bends here weren't exactly the way they should have been to fit that tank. So instead of it sitting, you know, like this, with the sock parallel and close to the floor, it was facing up. It was about two inches above the, the, the bottom of the tank. So unless you have like a half a tank of gas in there, when you hit it, everything would slosh away from it. This would become uncovered, and as soon as it finished sucking what was in the line, it was out of gas. Simple fix to that, bend it so that this was now parallel and just about touching the floor of the tank. Problem solved. But there are two other things that you have to look out for with these. The first is that if you've got the original one in your car, chances are this sock is going to be about 75% clogged. What will happen is it will flow just enough gas to keep everything happy at idle and, and low driving around speed. So it'll get like six pounds of fuel pressure and think all is well. When you get on it, it can't flow enough, runs out of gas. So your fix for that is either replace it or leave it off completely. Uh, if you've got a filter between the pickup and the pump, you don't need it. The other thing, and this is the flaw in Chrysler products, I'm not sure of how many other tanks this like applies to, but I'm sure a bunch of them. The way this is mounted in a Chrysler is at the very front of the tank. And this is only picking up fuel from approximately the front third of the tank, front quarter, front third of the tank. What I've done in the past was extend these eight inches, 10 inches or so with a piece of tubing. You use a compression fitting and another piece of tubing just to bring it out some. So that this way under acceleration, it's still, no matter what, it's going to be in gasoline. So uh, that's pretty much it. You know, like I said, it's the little things that'll get you. Um, and one other thing, we had a, a, a buddy of ours, well, not a buddy of ours, one of our viewers, Frank Quinos, he's a new buddy, uh, sent us hat and a couple of, a couple of neat shirts, uh, F&J Transmissions, they're in Clarksville, uh, Tennessee, and he also sent us, uh, he sent us a, 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 a slice of fucking pizza. Uh, pepperoni, very nice. So uh, thank you, Frank. I really appreciate it. We'll uh, we'll get you some transmission parts and some uh, some stickers in the mail. So uh, thank you. I appreciate it. That's it. See you tomorrow.